Colin Kroniger from the Department of Nutrition, and I'm going to talk about what happens when the fasted state leads to a diabetic ketoacidosis. In a normal fasted state, you have your muscle, and it goes through proteolysis. Proteolysis just means that you have your amino acids, there's 18 amino acids, are broken down to alanine and the glutamine. That alanine will go to the liver and be used for gluconeogenesis. So gluconeogenesis is occurring during fasting. The other tissue that is metabolized during fasting is your adipose tissue. And those, uh, the triglycerides that are stored are cleaved to free fatty acids and glycerol. The free fatty acids are used to make ketone bodies. The glycerol can be used for gluconeogenesis. So you have proteolysis going on, you have gluconeogenesis going on, and lipolysis going on. In the normal fasted state, when uh, it will shift to shutting this off, when the body sees insulin. So in a normal healthy person, an increase of insulin will basically shut off proteolysis, it will shut off lipolysis, and shut off gluconeogenesis. And you then start synthesizing your fatty acid. You start synthesizing your glycogen. In a type 1 diabetic, what happens is that they don't have any insulin. So until that body sees insulin, you're still going to have proteolysis, you're still going to have lipolysis, and you're still going to have gluconeogenesis. And remember, a type 1 diabetic has no insulin, so it's unopposed. Glucagon is unopposed. And that means it is actually more effective. It, it, it'll give a more severe reaction. So you have a much higher level of lipolysis, which really increases the amount of fatty acids. The ketone bodies, then, are greatly increased. It's these ketone bodies that cause the problem. They will change the pH of the blood. They will call what it is called ketoacidosis. And the patient will not shut any of this off until the patient is given insulin. So, in summary, starvation is very similar to a type 1 diabetic going through um, mobilization of stores. It's just that ketoacidosis is starvation on steroids because you have the fatty acids from the adipose tissue that are so uncontrolled and the lipolysis is uncontrolled that you create all those ketone bodies. And that's what ultimately causes the change of pH and the ketoacidosis and ultimately cardiac arrest will develop if the patient does not receive insulin.